if you evacuated Terrebonne or Lafourche Parish, the government officials are urging you to stay where you are. Don't try to come home today. Give it a couple of days. Leaders in Louisiana urging Ida evacuees to take their time coming home. The storm cleanup process just beginning. Parts of the state will take a long time to recover. Some of those evacuees are spending time here in the Big Bend as we speak. ABC 27's Cara Bailey watched as many of them checked into nearly booked hotels. She joins us from the Wyndham Garden on Appalachia Parkway with a look at what's going on. The doors to this hotel are the closest thing that many evacuees will have to calling home, at least for the next few days, as they wait on the all clear to return home to Louisiana after Hurricane Ida. Randall Griffin and his family drove 13 hours to Tallahassee to steer clear of the storm. About maybe about 15 to 18 of us, about that. So I won't say the whole, of course not the whole family, but you know, majority of us came together at least. His and other families survived Hurricane Katrina 16 years ago to the day. They learned from that experience to not take any chances with Ida. Because of that experience back then drove us to leave the city when we realized that it was going to be a cat three and then possibly a four because uh, my home was devastated in 2005. Devastation both families hope to avoid returning to, even though they've been warned of the worst. I just talked to my neighbor not that long ago. He was like, everything in my neighborhood is not that bad, but like certain other neighborhoods is kind of bad. And I talked with a girlfriend of mine who lived not too far from my house, and she said they were in darkness and they've been in darkness for a while. Both expressing gratitude for the kindness they've received during their stay so far in the capital city, asking that you extend the same to others as well. Just keep prayers, keep everybody in prayers from Louisiana. Now this evening, Wyndham Gardens hotel manager told me that they were down to around five rooms left for the night due to the number of evacuees staying in the hotel exceeding 50% of their available rooms. In Tallahassee, Cara Bailey, ABC 27.